Hey, this is Fernando coming to you from Melbourne in Australia, here live on a beautiful uh, summer's day, probably the first we've had in a little while. I'm just going to wait a couple of seconds, uh, see who joins us on this call, on this, uh, on this live video. And in this video, I want to talk about, uh, or I want to ask you a question. Are you running your business like a swamp or like a river? And what does that mean? So I did a bit of research on the internet and the word swamp, one of the definitions is a verb, uh, which is to overwhelm or to flood with water. And I found that to be really interesting because when I'm coaching people in network marketing um, and working with people, uh, sometimes you hear the expression, uh, I feel overwhelmed. Okay? There is so much, I'm overwhelmed. And I'm going to expand on that in a minute. Now, another characteristic of a swamp uh, is that it typically occurs alongside a major river, okay? So, to overwhelm, to flood with water, and it occurs alongside a major river. Now, a river, um, by contrast, is a free-flowing body of water, typically flowing towards the ocean, okay? Now, when you think about the ocean, you think about vastness, right? Expansion. Um, greatness so what happens is if you're running a business and you're feeling overwhelmed if you're feeling stuck if you're feeling like you're, you're stuck if you're feeling like you're not making a lot of progress then my guess is that you are probably running your business like a swamp okay and I don't want to offend you I don't want you to get upset and say well you know how dare you tell me that my business is like a swamp but think about some of the other characteristics of a swamp so it's a still body of water if you think about a swamp, the image in my mind, uh, at least, is about it's a breeding place for insects. Uh, the vegetation, I wouldn't imagine to be, yes, they are living, but not fresh, you know, lively vegetation. Uh, in comparison to a river where it's fresh, uh, the water flows. Uh, if you know about rivers, rivers carve their own path. If there are obstacles in the way, the water works around them and it'll shape them. It'll grind down stones. A river also, if you think about a river, it supports everything around it. Okay, you might have heard the expression, you know, if you're uh, be, to be like a, a tree um, standing by the water side that won't be moved, strong roots being fed from the liveliness of the uh, the nutrients from the water of that free flowing of that free flowing river. So many parallels, right? So, if you're feeling stuck in your business, then chances are you're stuck. Because you are holding, all right, wait for it, <laughs> you are holding on to the information that you are learning, especially if you are new. So you are not supposed to learn just for the purpose of accumulating knowledge, right? Unfortunately, that's what most people see our uh, learning as, you know, we accumulate knowledge uh, and we feel like we're just learning, we're learning and we confuse um, working on our business with sitting down and watching a webinar, absorbing more information. And I was at a, a church sermon on Sunday where there was a comparisons made about swamps and rivers in our life and about free flow and overflow. And uh, it got me thinking about my business and the business of those people that I uh, coach and I help. So you may have heard the expression that, you know, if you want to grow your business, you want to eat Invest in yourself, so invest by attending seminars, courses, uh, conferences, right? Learn, okay, so you learn what you're there to learn, get the information, acquire the information, but here's the last, last piece, teach, right? So for me, as I think about this, the difference between a swamp type business and a river business is chances say you're missing the teaching part, and why would you not be teaching? I'll tell you why, because... You may feel that you don't know enough. You may feel that you're just new at this. Well, who am I? Why do I know? I'm just fairly new at this stuff. I don't enough to teach. I'm not an authority. You know, I'm not one of the industry leaders. It doesn't matter. One of the quickest ways to learn is to teach. And when you think about the consequences of not flowing that information out to others, it's going to cost you uh, in health, physically, and in your business, because you're going to become overwhelmed, you're going to become stressed, you're going to become frustrated, you're going to become paralyzed. Um, and circumstances are going to shape up to deliver the very thing that you're feeling, right? Because that's how the universe works. It works by law. It doesn't uh, discriminate. So it doesn't decide, well, what are you... Um, 
what would be nice for you to have, it's not about what would be nice for you to have, it's what are your strongest, deepest feelings, and whatever they are, I'm going to deliver circumstances that are going to prove those feelings to be true. And so how you take control of that right now is you make a conscious decision and you say to yourself, I am no longer going to treat my business like a swamp. I am going to take everything that I know and believe me, you know more than you think you do. Okay? Like even from this video that I'm sharing with you now, this live message, if, you capture, if you're cat catching the, the replay, go through it, analyze it, and take one idea and commit to sharing that uh, with your friends, with your downline, with your team, maybe even do a live like I'm doing now and share part of that message. Okay? Because in the teaching, what you're doing is you're reaffirming the information for yourself. You're building your own confidence. You're developing your posture as someone that can actually impact and add value to other people. And if you think about growing your business, what do we always say? That you have to be a person that can bring value to people. You have to be able to contribute to their growth. So this is that free flow uh, body of water, that river flowing towards the ocean. And as you continue to do that... What happens with the river as it continues to flow downhill, it starts to build momentum, it builds speed, it builds power, the currents get stronger. And uh, what happens with those currents, you can power up things, right, get electricity um, and all this sort of stuff. So if you really want to build momentum in your business, if you want to get results, if you feel that you've been stuck, maybe this is the day that you, you know, make a decision and a commitment to yourself that you're going to start looking at what you do know take one idea and teach it don't wait for tomorrow tomorrow is not here you've got now get on your on your phone get on your camera get on your computer do a facebook and share this message your audience is not seeing this message you're seeing this many uh this message your team is not seeing this message uh yes you can share this um this message with others and that's great but it'll be more powerful for you to actually take something and start to share it because that's going to help you build the momentum. So I just want to acknowledge some of the guys that are here. Uh, Juan and uh, Hola Sawyer, uh, who's a cousin. Um, thank you for joining with me. Thank you for joining with me live uh, on this video. I really hope that you, you take stock of what I'm saying and really uh, grasp this information because I think it's it, I think it's transformational to be honest okay because overwhelm is very common in this industry especially when you're starting out I have to reach out to people I have to do box I have to do video I have to do content um, how do I build the list how do I reach out how do I attract prospects how do I put people in my team information 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 and you can consume hours and hours and there's so much training available but there's got to come a point where you decide okay I need to start flowing this information I can't just keep on acquiring I've got to let it go I have to help other people and one of the things that you hear me say oftentimes is that when you understand who it is that you're trying to serve that person is in pain that person is in trouble that person goes to bed every single night puts their head on the pillow looks up at the ceiling trying to figure out how they're going to solve their problems and here you are with the answer with the solution uh, and at the same time, wanting to grow, wanting to build your business, wanting to get success, but not sharing the information. So if, if there's anything that you take from this, think about that. Think about that it's not about you anymore. It's about this person that you're trying to help. Think about the one person you're trying to impact and do it for their sake because you do it for one, uh, you do it for many. Uh, it'll build your momentum. You start to gain speed. Um, you start to get new ideas flowing into your mind, other things that you can do, other things that you can implement. You'll open up yourself from that overwhelm. I mean, just just think about this for a sec. If you were to eat every day uh, and not have the, the, the nutrients of that food flow through your body, uh, it's only a matter of time before you become sick, right? Sick and, and poisonous, right? And that's what happens with the swamp. So just want to encourage you. Time to stop just gaining knowledge. Uh, start bridging the gap from what you know to what you do. It's what we call the knowing-doing gap. And the way you bridge the gap is you start to teach. You start to let the information go. So I hope you got value from this message. Let me know in the comments below what you gained from this. Make a commitment that you're going to share one message. Maybe just commit to sharing in the comments. What is one thing that you've taken away from this video that you're committing to go and share with someone else and when you're going to share it by. 
okay? So that you can hold yourself accountable. We can support you. We can believe with you that you're going to make it happen. And, and trust me, and I love to hear the feedback, how you feel after you do it. Because you find, and I because I've experienced this myself, that sense of satisfaction, excitement, because you're doing things. Now, you might say, well, maybe that doesn't generate me a lead. It doesn't matter. When you're sowing into people, when you're sowing seeds to help people grow and make a difference, even if it's just sharing a message, there's always going to be a reaping, even though it may not be from the same place. You get something happens. And I've been experiencing that a lot lately. I sow into one area and I reap from another area and it builds momentum. It feels great. And we're making a difference and we start to achieve the things that we're here to do in the first place. So thank you for joining with me. Do like, do comment, do share. Let me know how else I can serve you. Check out the page. Look at the resources. Let's stay connected. I wish you every ongoing success. Take care and bye for now.